Hi, and welcome to the Apache NiFi course. I'm very glad you're following along the journey to learn about Apache NiFi. It's a great technology, and I really hope that um, towards the end of the, the course, you'll be able to really understand the concepts, build your own data flows, and strive with it in your job. Um, just a bit of introduction about Apache NiFi before we get hands-on on it. The definition, as said on the website, is Apache NiFi supports powerful and scalable direct graphs of data routing, transformation, and system mediation logic. Uh, behind that very dense sentence is actually a very, very simple concept. Uh, the concept is that you create data flows and you know your unit of data is going through processors and each processor transforms the data. For example, to be a little bit more concrete, you could say, I want to transform my JSON document and put it in my database. Or I want to transfer all the files in my FTP automatically to Hadoop. Or even, I have data in Apache Kafka and I want to transfer it to Elasticsearch, etc. Really, the, your imagination is the limit. So, to do this, it's a quick and easy drag and drop interface and we'll see that. It's focused on the configuration of the processors, which is only what really matters to you. And Apache NiFi worries about all the other things, which is like connecting the processors, making sure they work along together, making sure data, you know, has hair handling and so on. Um, the cool thing is that it could also be scaled to a cluster of machines. So if you need to increase your throughput, you can just add machines. There's also a really nice concept named guaranteed delivery. So you're not losing data. And that's a really good thing to have, especially in the data business. And finally, it handles all the nice things that comes from data flow, which is buffering, back pressure, batching, prioritization of the queue, and you know your optimization of whether or not you want to have latency or throughput. So that's that's a really good sale, right? And from what I'm just saying, it seems like Apache NiFi can do everything, but really, it's good at some things and it's not good at other things. So before you move forward, you should ask yourself the question, is an Apache NiFi something good for me? Is it, does it fit one of my use cases? So what is it good at? It's good at transferring data between systems reliably and securely. It's good for delivering data to MLX platform. It's also good for enriching and preparing data. For example, transforming JSON to Avro, CSV to JSON, XML to Parquet, whatever you want. It's really good for extracting data within your data and for routing, as in, oh, if that's my financial data, go there. If it's my customer data, go there. What it's really not good at is for computations or complex event processing, or finally joins rolling windows and aggregate operations. Um, some frameworks are much better than NiFi for this. For example, Apache Spark, to name one. So really, if your flow is like, I want to move this data there, that's pretty much perfect for Apache NiFi. If it's, I want to move this data, maybe filter it, maybe enhance it a little bit, change the name field, you know, do some transformation on it, perfect. But if your data is, I want to compute the average of this metric over the past five months, that's not for Apache NiFi. So I really hope that after these first introduction, you really have a good idea of what Apache NiFi is good at, what it does, and what it's used for. Uh, in the next lecture, I'll start introducing three concepts that are really important before we move on to the exercises.